So I'm doing my second technology review. This is going to be on my Tableau uh, Quad Tuner over the air wireless one basically. We're going to go over to Tableau right now. Oops, hold on. I'll go up there. And there it boots up. And there's my particular Tableau, I guess. I caught it that because the other one being kind of junk. I had, I had one originally and it stopped working after uh, maybe a month or two. I shorted out with the power and then just stopped working. I got all my recordings here. I record a lot of movies. So you can see that's what I really like with the Tableau. Um, all the different movies here that I got recorded. So that's what I, I use it mostly for is just recording. I don't really watch live TV on it. Um, you can schedule all kinds of stuff up here. Mostly, again, movies, some news. And then you can see all the different uh, things. I got a terabyte hard drive on it. You get that 14 day guide, 38 channels. Um, all that. And it's, it's good. I like it overall. But um, I would just say, with it, know what you're getting into. And uh, it's, I put about 400 bucks into this. And the main reason I did that is I have a big antenna on my roof. And I'm in a duplex. I live in one side. I rent the other one out. And the guy who set up the antenna and helped me with it, for whatever reason, we couldn't split it so we could feed the coax signal to the other unit. So a good compromise for that was to buy something like this and to just have it run through the Wi-Fi. And like the user interface and the picture quality, these guys blow it out of the water. This is really, really good. I had the Homeworks 150, WH-150. If I didn't have a tenant or anything, and knowing what I know now, I probably would have just settled for that. That's probably 90% of what you can get with this. But this one, you do get a lot shinier of an interface. And it gives you a lot of content to view. Really, the reoccurring costs are just $20 a year to have it be streamed up to their servers and, and edited for um, commercial removal. So it has automatic commercial skip, which is cool. Um, it's, it's a good device overall. I mean, for the right person, it's the right thing. If you don't watch a lot of TV and you just record the same stuff all the time, then, you know, this is... Uh, probably overkill but I've discovered a lot of movies I've been able to watch a lot of movies and if you if you do the math if this thing actually lasts five years um, which would be good uh, you'd be able to really get a lot of movies and media content out of here without using a lot of data and without having the reoccurring um, reoccurring cost of streaming services and all that, but I don't see them as mutually exclusive. I think they could just kind of complement each other. But I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of a review of this one and just kind of show on how it's uh, set up and configured. And we can get one to pull up. I always like Bruce or uh, uh, John Wayne. And you can see here, this is kind of what it shows. You can delete it. You can, let's say, watch next. And then it's going to pull up, it's going to stream, and here we're getting the start of it. I'll probably stop it, but I can fast forward it too. So I could go, there we go, we're fast forwarding it. It already has commercial skip enabled on it, so I'm going to go right up to where the commercial will probably be. So we'll get it right up here, so we'll see. Uh oh, looks like some rustlers might be there. Here 
There we go. So I just wanted to show what the commercial skips like. You get a little bit of that, and then it's pretty much it's over. But uh, it's a cool device if you really watch a lot of TV and really want to get the detailed guide information and all that. Um, I think it was like 200 for the box itself, or there about 180, 150 something, and then it was 200 for the lifetime subscription. And uh, it's worth it for watching a lot. I think it's a value adder for the tenants, so they can always get uh, get watching this. The thing that's the downside with it is that if the internet's out, this ain't going to go anywhere. I mean, I think you can still, ideally you'd be able to use the router locally, but it says, oh no, internet not detected, and the recordings that have already been recorded should work, but whatever. So that's the downside with it. That's what's nice with the homework one, is it's its own self-contained uh, little DVR. You'd have to have a coax line hooked up to it, but, um, you know, at least you're able to do that. To me, I'd really like to have kind of a compromise between this one and uh, the tab will. But, you know, hopefully, like I said, this will be my five-year one. Hope you all like, subscribe, and enjoy. Uh, leave any questions, comments in the comment section, and have a great day.